Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Today I'm going to show you how you can use uh, Beatmaker 2 just on its own here. Uh, grab, you know, a song or a long sample and split it all up uh, to your liking and then export all that right into the into the drum pads. Um, Emily Needs on the uh, iPad Musician uh, Facebook group is the one who asked me about this and she showed me a video where uh, the guy was on a plane uh, doing this and he you know he, he probably couldn't talk about it so it's kind of a little bit hard to understand but I figured out what he did pretty quick so I'm gonna show you so I'll start a new project here and I'm just gonna load an empty drum machine just to start with and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little um, wave looking button here and I'll, I'm just gonna click open sample and uh, what I'll do actually is I'll just use one of my, uh, I'll just use the last recording I did uh, for this. Um, so uh, there we go, we got that. So um, here's our sample uh, page. So in order to split this up, you know, we may want to just select what we're going to use here. And uh, We'll click this button until we get to chop markers. And as soon as we get to chop markers, you'll see that uh, the select button over here turns into a markers button where we can put our, our markers in wherever we see fit. So I'm going to just add them in here randomly. You can play this as well with this play button here. It's just a bass line from uh, Solitude from Black Sabbath, uh, one of the last songs I recorded here uh, on Beatmaker 2. So I'll just uh, eyeball this and add random, random samples because, you know, when you do this yourself, you can actually take the time to, uh, to figure it out and, and slice it up exactly how you want. So it, it doesn't really matter if they're big or small, whatever you want to do here. All right, that should be good, good enough for me. So we'll click this little uh, file with the cog wheel here, and we're gonna click Save As and save it as a format. And uh, I'll just save it um, in my samples folder here. I'll rename this. I apologize for the jet outside, but there's an air show going on today, so not much I can do about that. Uh, so, anyhow, we'll just name this um, Solitude Base. There we go. So I'll close this, and now I'll go into my uh, into my drum pads here, where we have nothing loaded, right? Because we had our thing. So we're gonna click this chop button here. We'll click that, and we're gonna open sample. And now I'm just gonna open the Solitude Base eighth that I made here. Load it up. Click uh, close because we're done. And uh, create pattern from slices is exactly what we're going to do. So uh, uh, we can, you know, you can use some of these other things if you want. But right now we're just going to create the pattern from the slices. So let's create that. And uh, we'll just call it Solitude Base. And now we're going to load it with pattern. There you go. Obviously, you can see that all the samples have uh, have been imported properly, and uh, yeah, we uh, we can do this. You know, probably not the best example. Um, this particular, uh, you know, because it's just a bass line. I probably could have used a song or something, but that is how you do this. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, you got it done, and uh, that's all we need to know about this. So yeah, pretty cool uh, little technique that I was previously unaware of. Uh, whenever I did this, I always, uh, I always did it in the timeline view by splitting up my my song, you know, however I was going to do it. But uh, yeah, we have it all, uh, we have it all done up here. So excellent. All right, uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I hope this helped. I'm sure it helped Emily, but I uh, hope to help some other people too. Alright, uh, check out iOS Mars, of course, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.